Hi everyone, this is Fake Hair Mama. Thanks for joining me today. Today, I think, uh, if nothing else, we're gonna get a good laugh. <laughs> I recently purchased a wig, a budget wig from Amazon. She was $19.99, which, you know, I have bought a few wigs that are in that $20 range and some of them weren't bad at all. This one, I think I may be sending her back. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I'm going to be sending her back. <laughs> she definitely, from what I, I haven't really unpackaged her, but she definitely doesn't look anything like the stock photo. I will leave a little link here <laughs> of the stock photo so you can see what I am talking about and what I was hoping to receive. <laughs> But you never know, right? So if nothing else, maybe you've been looking at this wig and wondering, hmm, maybe, maybe I could try this one. It probably won't be a good idea. <laughs> so she came in this plastic bag, which, you know, a lot of the Amazon wigs do. And there is a hair net in there. Okay, so she looks, she looks like a big poodle. <laughs> and that was not anything like the picture. And on the envelope that, you know, the outer envelope they sent her to me, it looked like it came from a return center. So that would be a uh, red flag number one right there. So let's take the netting off and release her. <laughs> okay, we have a little bit of paper in the middle. Okay, so there isn't even a tag on her. And There we go, it was hooked on there. So normally wigs, you know, will have some kind of tag that's still attached. So they obviously accepted this as a return. And um, the picture also shows rooting. There's no rooting on this one. This almost looks like a D. Snyder costume type of hair <laughs> so definitely going back I um, have to contact Amazon I think I'm still within the return window and so we have we do have a basic cap which is what you would expect there is some rose lace fabric here and there is some soft fabric on the ear tabs and there is a metal stay in there, which is fairly sturdy. And you have the typical um, bra strap adjusters. All right. I'm not gonna shake this one up because I, sh I think she's got enough volume. <laughs> there is good coverage on the crown, which I guess that's one good thing about it. Because sometimes you you worry about uh, seeing some wefts, especially from Amazon wigs. Oh my goodness. Wow. Again, I'll put the stock photo here. <laughs> this is not I'm sure they probably copied that picture from elsewhere <laughs> to sell the wig. Let's take a look around. Do we have to? <laughs> if you're going to a party and you're going as D. Snyder <laughs> or some other funky person, then maybe this would be the wig for you. She is lightweight for all this hair. She is lightweight. <laughs> and you could, oh, well, you're seeing the cap here, so you don't want to pull her back too far. 
but you could probably do some styling with her. I don't wanna play with her anymore because I am gonna send her back. She's getting caught in my hooks here. So, definitely a no-go in my book. If you're thinking of buying her, don't buy her. Unless, like I said, it's for a costume party, which is too bad, you know, would have been nice to uh, get the wig that in the stock photo that I was seeing, but I'm going to keep trying for you guys <laughs> to take a look at some budget wigs for you. This one, most of the ones I've tried have been okay, but this one is not. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope I made you laugh. <laughs> it's definitely as I expected once I saw her in the package. Please like and share this video and we will see you next time. Bye.